Welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show. My name is Graham, and this is my show. And this, by the way, is my 20-cent iced coffee. Mm. Honestly, if it wasn't for this coffee, I would not be able to film these in the morning. This thing is a lifesaver. I wish I could, I, I should start selling coffee from now on. I think that would do really well. Just quit YouTube and just start selling 20 cent iced coffee. That should actually be the name of it. It's just 20 cent iced coffee. Everyone would buy it. And guess how much it would cost? $3.99, just kidding. So anyway, okay, so we're back at it today and uh, we're gonna react to another Glamour video. They do these like living on $70,000 a year, like going over the finances and stuff like that. So I just went to their YouTube page right now and I, I, they do a lot of content here. Usually how I plan these reaction videos out is I sort by the most popular one first because I figure the most popular one, it must be really good and because it's really popular, they have a wide demographic of people that have watched it. So if I title a video somewhat similar, it should hopefully retarget all of those people. But I sorted by most popular and I'm getting like Billie Eilish, uh, this is your pregnancy in two minutes. 48 million views. Okay, uh, we got Shawn Mendes. Uh, my first time having sex at college. I, you guys want me to react to that one? I, I can react to that one. We got, some, we got some very interesting videos on this channel. They're all over the place. But let's find a, let's find a financial one. A hundred years of pantyhose. Maybe I should just go down the list and react to these because these are very interesting. Where, where are my finance videos? Okay guys, after a lot of searching and a lot of smashing the like button, I think I found our video. How this barista spends her $15,000 salary. Honest accounts, glamor, okay? I can tell this is gonna be a good video just because $15,000 salary, right? What's going on with that? Let's find out. I'm a part-time barista and I make about $15,000 a year and looking for a full-time work. How does she live in New York City on $15,000 a year? Unless, unless they just caught her at a weird time where she's in between jobs and they just take her current income like at that time. How is that even possible? Let's find out. I'm curious. I've got about $1,500 in savings. For my general relationship with money, I definitely wish I had more. <laughs> it would definitely make living in New York easier, but I do feel like I spend too much and I need to get better at saving for sure. Okay, wait, so hold up. So, so two things here. Number, number one, she acknowledges that she's spending too much. So she's aware that she shouldn't be spending as much as she does. And, and second thing, I don't like the word like I wish I could be making more money. I don't I don't like wishing for things to happen because wishing just has the connotation that you're not actually doing anything to make more money. You're just sitting there hoping that something will fall into your lap. I, I gotta say, if there's anything you ever wanna do, it's never just going to fall in your lap. It's never just gonna be, oh, if I wish, if I wish hard enough, one day you could smash the like button. No, 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 no. It doesn't happen like that. And here's the thing though, like I definitely believe in like being optimistic and, and visualizing what you want and understanding what it is that you want to achieve. That is a lot more preactive than, than wishing. So, so never wish, always just work towards it and visualize it. I have about $400 in an investment app and $50 in my debit savings account. The rest of my savings is at home stashed because if not, I would definitely spend it if it was in my bank. Ooh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So, so a few things here. At least she's self-aware enough that she would spend it if she didn't hide it somewhere in the house. I have $5,700 in credit card debt. $700 in personal credit card debt, and then $5,000 in a shared credit card with my mother. Ooh, oh man, that's too much debt. A third of her income right now is debt, which is understandable because there's no way that she can live in New York City off $15,000 a year. There's just no way. So I think it makes sense that she's in $5,700 of debt, but oh my God. I think she should just take some of that cash savings and just and start chipping away at the debt. Just start slowly, just grinding away. You gotta get that paid down. I try to pay it off monthly if I have it, and if I don't, then I won't. Oh no, she gotta pay off your credit card. You gotta pay off your credit card. This is the worst one I've seen. I have never, I repeat, I have never seen one of these videos where they haven't made a credit card payment on time. Her credit is shot. 
a shot. But you know what? It's not too late. You can always pick it back up. You can always do, you need to at least make the minimum payment no matter what. Even if you pay 100% in interest, I don't care. Minimum payment every single month no matter what, so you pay it off on time. With my current paycheck, I have about $1,000 to spend monthly. Oh, oh my God, this is so bad. This is so bad. She's in $5,700 of credit card debt. And then, and, and then any time they say, I have $1,000 left over every month to spend. You know they're not spending it on like worthwhile stuff. You know they're spending it. We're, we're about to see. So far, every single time, the, the spending is on ridiculous stuff that not even I would spend money on, right? I wouldn't even spend money on these things. And yet, you know, other people are, okay? So let's find out. I just moved out of my parents' house. So month to month paying rent by myself is definitely a lot harder than living with my parents. She shouldn't have moved out from her parents. Let, let's be honest. She should have stayed with her parents and gotten rid of that debt first. I don't consider myself frugal. There's some weeks that I will watch what I'm spending. Some weeks that I'll just go to Sephora, I'll go online shopping, and I'll just spend like a bunch of money. Not smart. <laughs> first of all, she's laughing. <laughs> That's not funny to me. I take this very seriously. She's like, oh yeah, I went to Sephora. I spent some money. Some weeks I don't, some weeks I'm... And she's laughing about it. <laughs> that, that is, that's a dangerous laugh, okay? I don't like any of that at all. And let's be real, like her rent is decent. Her car, it's, it's a lot. She can probably get a cheaper car. It's not the end of the world, but I don't like this. She, she has credit card debt and she's spending. No, it, it, no. No, that, that's like, I, I wish I could just be like, no, bad, bad, don't, don't do that, you know? And because you can't do that. Here's my last debit card statement. That's big, that's a big statement. That's a lot of, that's a lot of spending right there. Let's see. Sprinkles Cupcake 71. I got a bunch of cupcakes for my friend for her birthday. She don't want to do anything for her birthday, so I wanted to do something nice. You don't even spend $71 on cupcakes. That's the thumbnail right now. That's ridiculous, sprinkles. You can go to Ralph's. I've done this before. I've been there and I've done this. You go to Ralph's and they have the cupcakes that are sitting there for like $4.99 for like 12 of them. But, okay, if you want to take it to an extreme, you can go to, there's, there's like a little aisle. This sounds terrible I would ever say this, but uh, you know, whatever, okay? There's, there's a little aisle usually by the restroom with the, like, it, they're all like 50% off. There's a rack, it's like everything is 50% off that they just need to sell. Um, especially with baked goods, the thing is they don't sell them all. So when the baked goods are like a few days away from expiring, they just move them from the normal rack to the rack by the bathroom that's 50% off. You can buy the same stuff. It's the same stuff. As, as long as you're not planning on just keeping it in the kitchen for like a month, as long as you're planning to eat it within the next week, it's fine. And it's half the price. She's spending $71 on cupcakes and I can do the same thing for like $2.50, okay? I've never in my life spent $71 on cupcakes, ever. I would be ashamed of myself if I ever did that. Even if you're my best friend, okay, I'm not spending $71 on cupcakes because I know they would tell me, Graham, that's stupid, return them. Return them. Family dollar for $3. Then go mini vending for $10.88. Why is, why is she going to a vending machine and spending $10 on a vending machine? Reyes the entrepreneur, you, you hearing this man? She is your customer. She is your customer. You want her, man. You want to find out where she walks every day and put a vending machine right there. You would make a killing. Hanes, twenty ninety three. I was buying my boyfriend underwear because <laughs> he needed new ones. So it was kind of a gift. $21 on underwear. You can go on Amazon and buy them for like $2 each. This better be like a year's supply of underwear. I bought my best friend Beats earbuds for Christmas in December, so it was like a payment plan. You went on a payment plan for a friend's birthday for Beats headphones! Oh my god, no! No! Oh my, she's in debt! She can't afford it! She's gotta cut all of this out now! Oh my god! If I were her friend and she gave me something that she had to be on a payment plan for, I would tell her, I don't want it that bad. I value the friendship more than I value you giving a payment plan for me. No. Broadway Diner, $42.60. You can't afford the Broadway Diner for $42.50. You can't afford any of this. Everything is just she can't afford it. I do spend a lot of money on fast food just because it's easy, um, it's convenient, I'm always on the- $151 a month in fast food. 
Come on. Come on. I shouldn't have to say anything on this. I'm just, here's the thing. I get so worked up with these videos that eventually I reach a plateau where just, just like everything just, everything starts getting quiet, you know? Have you had that feeling before where you just, you're just so mind blown. Mind blown. That's how I get with, with these videos. I, I gotta stop watching these videos. I have nightmares. When my car was in the shop, it was really crazy. I definitely felt that money a lot more because it's like constant. She's spending a lot of money on Ubers. At least do the Uber pool. Okay, if you're gonna do this, at least pull it together. It's like half the price. Half the time they never even pick up another passenger, so you are set. Just do that. Just do that. If, if you're going to burn money, you may as well just burn a little bit less money. If, if you're gonna burn it, don't burn all of it. Burn some of it if you are going to burn it. iTunes, $4.94. Quick pay, $2.49.94. I went to Cancun for my birthday, so I think my friend bought the package around that time. So I think I gave her like half of it then, and then the other half later. This, this whole thing is basically a disaster. It's a train wreck. She went to Cancun on her birthday. I have never been to Cancun. You know what I did on my birthday? I did happy hour sushi. Happy hour sushi. I think I think I celebrate like I don't I rarely drink But I think that night I, I had like like what did I have like a three dollar beer on happy hour? You know, that's how I celebrate my birthday. You know what by the way fun little tidbit here um, When I when I actually hit a million dollars net worth That was the day I actually went and celebrated because that to me was a very 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 big deal It was something I've been working towards I've always wanted to say that you can officially call yourself a millionaire like that was it that was huge for me You know what I did I didn't tell I didn't tell a single soul What I did is I went out to a few friends happy hour sushi and I spent like twelve dollars on sushi that night That was my celebration for hitting a million dollars and she's and she's just like Guys, let's go to Cancun No, don't go to Cancun I don't even go to Cancun. Let's not do that. PayPal4608. I think these are actually American Eagle jeans. I think in the winter time, I spent like a few hundred just like <laughs> shopping, but like I get it out of my system. Like I do it once for the season and then like I just, I won't touch it until like fall or winter. Online transfer 50. PayPal48. Quick pay 19. 11, 14, 80. 120. 50. 25. You know what the funny thing is I just noticed here is that she says she has like a little bit of money left over to spend But if you look at total ATM debit card withdrawals, it's just fifteen hundred and forty three dollars a month You realize that this every month is more than she makes in a year. She's making fifteen thousand dollars a year She's spending just just right here one month screenshot. She's spending eighteen thousand dollars a year That means that that every month she's underwater like two hundred fifty dollars a month Every single month, she's she's negative that amount just based on the one month that we can see here. That's it. Crazy. A lot of these quick pays are actually me covering my boyfriend when he overdrafts his account. I hate having cash, and he loves having cash. So the he overdraws his account, and she's bad with money. This couple really needs to get it together. Okay, like you know how they say that that money is like the leading cause of divorce. I feel like they're just both enabling one another. This is not. This is not a good relationship from a financial standpoint. If they're both this bad with money, they just they just encourage each other because to them it's both normal. It's like, oh, it's not that bad when you see my, my boyfriend here overdrafting on everything. No, no. He'll literally take all the cash out of his account. The other day I had to call Chase and like pretend to be him to get him his money back. That overdraft fee, they charged him twice. So I got him his money back. What does he sound like that she sounds like him? I, I don't wanna, I don't want to like talk anything negative, but how th that's terrible for like identity theft and stuff like that. If she can go to Chase and just pretend to be him, unless she has a really good like man voice, which maybe she does, could be. Very likes mothers, fifteen. A year and a half ago, I got lice. I don't know. Do you see this hair? I don't know how I got it. It took me like months and then like it was it was a hot mess. I have like so much anxiety from that. Like every few months, like I go, it was so traumatic. It's like different getting it as an adult. It's crazy. Like you always feel like something's in your hair scratching you. That would be a total nightmare for me. Like like even little Ramsey, the, the kitten, you know, because he was he was an outdoor cat. I, I rescued him as a little guy, so he's spent, you know, the first like six, seven weeks of his life outside. He had fleas. And even then the fleas to me just were like, oh, I just I don't like 
I don't like the, the idea of like little insects crawling around. Like I, I had no problem with bugs, but like, Whoa, it's just disgusting. Oh man. I feel like once I can land like a stable job where I make like a decent amount of money, I can focus on saving like larger sums. And if I did have more savings, I definitely would look into buying a new car because there are problems that comes with a used car. Um, and yes, an apartment without roommates would be easier. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. So what it really comes down to it is she's got to focus on the savings first and she's got to nail that down. Because otherwise, if she doesn't solve the root problem of just not being able to budget, it doesn't matter how much money she makes. I guarantee she'll make 30000 a year and still find a, a reason to be like negative $300 every single month. If anything, the problem will get worse because now her expectations go up with her income and her lifestyle goes up with her income. It's gonna quickly outpace what she's making. So I would get the budget under control first. That's number one. Number two, there, there are salaries. There's pretty much, I feel like, there's anything that you can do in New York that's gonna pay more than $15,000 a year. You, you cannot be a part-time barista earning $15,000 and, and not constantly be looking for other work. Constantly. I mean, this should this should be your job. Your job should not be going to Cancun. Your job should not be going to Sprinkles and spending seventy-one dollars on cupcakes. Your job should not be to go out and like take Ubers places. And your job should be to find a higher-paying job. That that is your job, and saving the money. Okay. That, that's what it is. Let's see the comments. These videos would be really interesting if a professional finance person gave them some tips at the end. Wow, well, I'm not, I don't consider myself a professional finance person, but I consider myself a uh, uh, personal finance enthusiast. That is me. That is that that would be a good description for me right there. Yeah, seventy-one dollars for cupcakes. Oh, good. Would have been to the Dollar Tree and got the dollar cake mix frosting. Okay, good. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So so she had fifty-seven hundred dollars credit card debt, but she went to Cancun. So the comments are exactly what I think. So we're all on the same page here. She's messing up. So anyway, that's my thoughts on this. That's my advice for her. She's got to get in a check. And you know what? This video was posted almost a year ago. I would love to see an update video on on these people. Like one year later. Did she go to Cancun again, or did she go to like, you know, Puerto Rico? I, I wanna know what, what these people are up to now. I'm really curious. So anyway, with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you, if you made it to the very end, you haven't already smashed the like button, make sure to destroy the like button. Subscribe to this channel. Also, add me on Instagram. I post it pretty much daily, so if you wanna be a part of it there, feel free to add me there. Thank you again for watching, and until next time.